What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carbocane Kane and with Surging Sparks just at the end of this week coming in I figured that I would take the time to do something I don't do very often if at all and actually open up the Japanese variant of the product the I think it's Super Electric Breaker very superhero sounding um, don't usually do it I think I had a few run-ins with the Japanese product and I wasn't too satisfied with it especially when we started with Scarlet Violet and all of a sudden you opened a pack it was like five cards and so you're like this feels somewhat not gratifying enough, but then when you kind of take it to the whole point, it's a lot easier to master set Japanese as it is to master set English with the way we do it here on the channel. Um, I was a little bit discouraged, but considering that this is the first set that has Pikachu as an SAR, I was like, why not? Let's give it a go. So um, I'm not too sure what to expect out of it. As usual, I haven't done... I haven't done as much, um, what's it called? As much research into the set. <laughs> Cause I kind of like everything to be a sudden surprise. I kind of find out a lot of the surprises of the set during like pre-releases and then pretty much on the first opening um, on release day. But when it comes to Japanese, obviously it's like what, it's usually the Japanese sets are uh, two sets to one English one. So it's a good indicator of what's going to be coming in later on this week with Surging Sparks. And again, you know, these feel incredibly light and I'm also like scared to actually open them to the point where I'm just going to do it. I hate doing it, but we're going to go with the scissors. <laughs> I hate doing it, but I'm just going to go with the scissors because I don't want to ruin the cards inside. Obviously, if I've got some friends out there that are Japanese collectors, you guys are free to take all the bulk. And that's what I mean with it. I know there is value in these, right? I know there is value in these. But because there's no sparkly and no shiny and all that kind of stuff, and there's like a lot less in the, in the packets and everything like that, it feels weird to me. Even though I know that, obviously, it's a lot more easy than Master Set. And it's not so bad. And... I'm really out of my element with these Japanese packets. I'm out of it. I'm, I'm out of my element when it comes to using scissors to opening these things, and nothing again. No, no little shiny stuff. I'm not. If I remember properly, back to when I opened up base Scarlet Violet for Japanese. Um, pretty certain there was uh, like a hollow in each one, like what's considered our reverse hollow. But these ones don't seem to have any. That's three packets without any hollows in it. Keeping in mind as well, I'm pretty certain that the only hollows that you get for Japanese are obviously like, you know, the what's considered the um the star rares for, for English, I think. Usually like when it's at the end of it, like a Pokemon evolution. Okay, we got an A spec. I have no idea which one that is. And then we've got a pet shrunk there. Um, yeah, I have no idea what that is, but it looks cool. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. I don't think I have my clear sleeves with me, so I'll be putting these into blue sleeves. I'm pretty certain I've got a few buddies out there that do collect Japanese, and they're probably just waiting to see what I get. There's a few things in here I'd like to keep. If I do get them, of course. Um, that obviously is really up to whether or not I get them or not. Togepi, Sharkadet, Rotom, Kilowattrel, and I think that's the Paldean Taurus. I mean, I think they're all Paldean Tauruses, but I'm not too certain. Um, the fire in the water. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to start to... Just, it feels more natural to open them. And I have a bit more control of actually revealing the cards. Alright, so that's Buffalant. Uh, try to remember this one. I think it's part of the Hydreigon thingy thing. And that's Durant. Okay, I know that one. I know that one. I know some of these cards purely because of... Um... What's it called? The pre-release. Purely because of pre-release, I know some of them. So I'm not too certain as well what the... Oh, wow! No way! That is... That is one of the ones I wanted. That, that, oh, okay. So, <laughs> if there was one single card that I was going to pull in this entire set, 
for Japanese, it was this one. Pikachu, okay. But it's like Pikachu comes in English anyway. The reason why I wanted this is because it it, it got turned into a promo on our side. I'm I'm so happy with I'm like I'm I'm over the moon. <laughs> I did not I did not expect to get that one. For those out there wondering what's so big of a deal about this one, obviously this Magneton is written, um, drawn or illustrated by the same artist that did the Lost Origin Giratina and also the Magikarp from Pow Day Evolved. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm really... Oh, wow. Uh, we can just pack it up and go home. So I don't... <laughs> I don't actually know what the... Um, the hit spreads are meant to be for a Japanese box of Pokemon. Um, we've been opening a few um, Japanese products here on the channel, and like a few off Pokemon things with um, Tony and everything like that. And we've kind of figured, okay, like, you know, Bandai does these, like, does things this way and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, you know what to expect here and there. But when it comes to the hit spread, I don't know what you're meant to expect. So, like, you know, like, what, if you opened up a booster box of 151, you were guaranteed one Master Ball. So it was like one Master Ball. Per, um, per booster box. With this one, oh, there we go. We got our first hollow. The Terrapagos, Terrapagos, Terrapagos. I might as well sleeve, sleeve this one. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're in one of these. If you're guaranteed one SAR, I don't think that's how Japanese works. Purely because I think it is such a small set. Like they are smaller sets than the English ones. So technically, they're a lot more easier to collect in Master Set, um, which is why you probably see a lot of people like, crack these kind of boxes open. They stop opening packets once they've hit the SAR or something like that. Um, oh god, I'm just absolutely. There has to be another way to open these, and I need to watch more people opening these just so I can like have a mental instruction on how to do it. And that's Zeb Striker. That's the Hydreigon thing, and. Must be, a, that's a TM Evolution card. Jeez, all my, my bulk is just piling up because I'm kind of just like, I'm, I'm kind of fanning it out. So I just need to, I'm, I'm fanning out the bulk or rather like, you know, if you were to master set this in Japanese. The insane part is only one hollow so far. That's that's the insane part. And it's not like all like all the shiny crackly hollow and all that kind of stuff. It's the confetti looking sparkly hollow that I saw. Um... When I first opened Scarlet Violet Base, God, I need I need to figure out how to open these. <laughs> but yeah, I'm curious to see what the actual. Oh wow! Okay, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> We're hitting all the set the set mascots here. The only way this can get better is if I hit like the Latios or the Latios or something in the, in the AR. But wow, that's <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'm I'm already happy with this box. The, the fact that I got the Magneton, I'm I'm happy enough with that already. Like, I am over the moon with that one. I was I was pretty excited for Surging Sparks to coming to be coming out, and I was like, one of the biggest hits in this will be the Magneton, and then and then they showed the ETB promo, and unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> The rest, the rest goes as follows. So it's just, it's it's cool, but it's not as cool. Oh, I got the Fampy. Fampy. So I don't know how many ARs you get in the box. So that's two ARs. I would assume you get maybe, maybe four ARs. I would assume. You should get four ARs. I'm hoping, because then I get like another two more chances at it. And these are the last two packs of the right hand side of the box. As you guys know, whenever I open boxes and stuff like that with Tony, I always take the right-hand side. He always takes the left-hand side, so... Team right-hand side, Team Cardboard Kane, currently winning Togepi, or sorry, Togekiss, if I remember properly. And then, last packet on the right-hand side. Esper, Charcadet, Thebas, Thingy Thing, and Delibird, or Brute Bon, not Brute Bonnet. What's it called again? <sighs> Trying to remember now. Brute Bon is the poison one. 
A deli bird. Uh, I can't remember. Why can't I remember at the worst of times? It'll come to me. It'll come to me. All right, let's start Team Tony side on this side here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So I wonder, and I'm not too sure, and if any of you guys out there watching this have come across this, let me know. Because I think it's only ever happened to me once. Is it possible to get the same AR twice in one box? For Japanese or English? It's... It's something that's always kind of eluded me when I don't really think about it, when we just like open packs and everything. Is it possible to get the same card in the, in the same box? Haven't really given it thought. And we got a slacking EX. Can't believe slacking's in here. <laughs> I'm an, I'm an anti-slacking boy. Uh, let's feel. What's his name? Something Lisk? <laughs> oh wow, Palio. Palio Sand! Full Art Terror. That is so cool. They, you know, the Japanese cards really do hit slightly different. They really do. They look, they look very different. In the sense of... They just got a little bit more to them. They got a little bit more to them. I enjoy them. So far, so good. So, I'm just trying to understand, like, a way like how they do it. Like, I feel like there's still one more AR in here and probably one more full art. Oh no. Probably two more full art. No. I gotta think as well, like, these boxes have a lot less packets than a, an English... an English representation. So the hits will obviously be a lot less. So I'm, I'm trying to condition myself to like in between like product now because Tony has brought in some Japanese products for Pokemon, but they're a little bit different because he's only ever brought in the high class sets, like you know, like the shiny treasures or Paladine, like Paladine face, shiny treasures or like maybe a box of one five one or something. So they're like a little bit different. Uh, Eternatus, Executor. So obviously they're a lot more cheaper than a usual standard box. So obviously they have a lot less hits. Just gotta try and figure out the actual hit spread. Execute, go Coco, and Miss Magius, I think. I think. I think I got that right. I think. It's kind of funny when you don't have the uh, the visual aid. Like I can read, I can read Japanese, but only hiragana. <laughs> I might need to start. I, I might need to. Oh, there we go. Is that Vivalon? Vivalon? Vivalon for the AR. So we probably don't have another AR in here. So that's our three ARs. I would. I would imagine like that's how they're doing it. So three, three ARs. Vivalon. Vivalion. Vivalon. I need to. I need to brush up on my Japanese. Um, I can read Hiragana fine. Kanji. Don't even. Don't even ask me. Katakana. <laughs> That's why I start to fail. And then everyone can read Romanji. If you can read English, you can read Romanji. Which is just basically the English version or the pronunciation of everything. Because um, I do intend to start going to Japan a lot. I want to I want to start I want to start jet setting very soon. Alright, here we go. Tatsugiri Tatsugiri Base EX, there we go. So if, I don't know, is it? Oh yeah, there is a Latius, isn't there? But I think he's like, I think Latius or Latius, I can't remember which one it is. I think they're just like a, a standard EX, they're not a Terra EX. So that's pretty cool to get that. You know, I'll probably end up like giving some of these cards away to friends and everything like that, but I'm definitely keeping that Magneton and that Pikachu. <laughs> keeping that Magneton and that Pikachu. I'm, I'm already, I'm already wrapped. That's Chin Pao. All right, not too many left. We got four packets. Last four packs in this little opening. Just as like a little precursor, just because I got a little bit of sticky fingers before Surging Sparks has come out. The boxes are there from the the boys at our Mystical Merchants, and I'm like, you know what? I'll give it a go. Why not? Let's have a go. 
I think I'm I think I'm slightly getting the hang of opening these packs as I got to it so you know <laughs> we don't need that guide anymore I've, I've figured it out I just gotta manhandle them a little bit more and there's the Milotic Milotic base EX to be fair if you were a Japanese collector I can see why it's actually enjoyable to open these because you do get like a relatively good spread in, in a much cheaper product Magneton I can't believe I got the Magneton alright last pack magic could it be the SAR? the very last packet on Tony's side could it be? could it not be? I think that's Glimit Charmeleon something or Keklio or something and Lizzie's appeal and unfortunately a Wochin to finish it off okay so if we go through it so it's kind of cool that <laughs> that the hollows are considered the hits as well I think I've seen like a few um a few card breaks where like you know oh yeah these are the hits and everything I mean they're the hits if you're trying to master set stuff so it is definitely very different than how I remember it to how the two boxes of um Scarlet base I opened up it was like there was a lot more hollows and all that kind of stuff so if we go into all of it I won't be able to say the names of all of them because I don't know the names of all of them or some of them so we've got a Vampy AR that's what they call that one uh Terpagos Pikachu EX Terra my personal chase card from the Japanese set the old Magneton Durant, can't remember what that one was. I, I can't, I, I can't, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> I can't do it. Tatsugiri EX, Vivalon or Vivalon, Vivalon, blah, 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 blah. Slacking EX, Palisand, Togekiss, Chinpao, Milotic, Eternatus, Skelly Dirge. But the hero of this one, definitely. Definitely. I'm, I'm so happy with that. And it's so shiny. It's so hard to get like a proper angle. So I don't blind you guys with the uh, the down lights. So like, oh, yeah, actually the lights are like really high lights. Like, <laughs> I'm so happy with that. Oh, man. Okay, so it has been a very long time since I've opened. You know, actually, no, I lie. Um, so I started off Scarlet Violet. I opened up a couple Scarlet and a couple Violet base EX boxes. Was thoroughly disappointed and didn't touch it since. Didn't open any Japanese product. And the only Japanese product I opened since then would have been a random pack of 151 that was given to me at the Marinkville Trading Card Show. Inside that was a Squirtle AR and a Gold, P um, gold, gold Psychic Energy. So, <laughs> not bad for in between. And then this is obviously the next product afterwards and to, to, hit, to hit the Magneton, to hit my chase card, the one I was actually going for. I am I'm absolutely stoked. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you guys are looking to search like forward to searching sparks. I may or may not go pick up another box of Super Electric Breaker before the release, just to kind of keep the um the old brain kind of you know going. But um, it might be a possibility. You guys take it easy. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you in the next video.